Former Vice President Joe Biden held a rally in Philadelphia. He called for unity, but also slammed President Trump. CBS News 2020 campaign reporter Bo Erickson was at the event. He's covering Joe Biden, and he joins us now. So, Bo, run us through some of the points here. It was very, very clear that he was going to attack President Trump here, and we saw a lot of uh, praise for President Obama and his record. Well, yes, Rena, we've been seeing kind of that attack Trump mode for the past couple of weeks since he launched his campaign over three weeks ago. He was going after President Trump. He was a little bit more pointed in his criticism today. Um, for instance, he did this big point about saying, um, do we need someone who will stick up for white nationalists? And the crowd yelled, no. And do, do we need someone who is best friends with Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un? And the crowd responded, no. He has been leaning into his criticism on President Trump, but then he's also walking us through his plan um, to rebuild America, as he says, starting with first the middle class and then unifying both Democrats and Republicans. You know, we heard, as I mentioned earlier, Biden discuss his love and his admiration for President Obama and throughout the speech, he kept sort of evoking that rhetoric. I want to play some sound for you of him comparing the two. I believe we can keep the promise of our founding. The idea that if you're willing to work hard, it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from or what you look like or where you love. But we were born of an idea that every single solitary person, given half a chance, no matter where they're from, given half a chance, there's not a single thing they cannot do if they work at it. Nothing's beyond their capacity. A familiar message of hope, Bo. Is this going to be a, a strategy going forward of, of trying to connect the two together? Yeah, great quick work by the CBSN producers <laughs> It really producers is, our there, producers here. Um, putting those two pieces together, yes. Uh, it is very reminiscent of it. And he is, he, he kind of leads the crowd and says, you know, I'm going to say something that people don't say, say a lot. Uh, president Obama was a good president. Of course, the crowd just absolutely erupts. And so he is standing by uh, a former President Obama, even though he asked him just a few weeks ago to not endorse his campaign because Biden says he wants to do this all on his own. And we know that Biden announced he's going to be choosing Philadelphia as his campaign headquarters. What can we expect um, with him continuing to sort of emphasize uh, Philadelphia? And, and also, what about the Rust Belt states? Yes, that is exactly right. This is actually his second stop in Pennsylvania in just three weeks. Obviously, his first stop was in Pittsburgh, where he talked right to the union, right to union members. And now he's a little bit closer to home. Um, his home in Delaware is about 30 minutes away um, a few people tell me. And so we'll be a lot closer here. And it's really important, Democrats say, um, to go after the vote, especially after the 2018 midterms, where in this area in Philadelphia, they saw Democratic gains in Congress. Bo Erickson, thank you.